with the ankle peak. So I'm here, I have same, same lapel, same hand control. So I will first bring him, make him step forward. And then I, I go, I like to go down with my, with my knee to the floor, okay? I feel that's fast, like I, I drop my, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go slowly down here. I, I let it fall, so I'm here. Okay. Here I still have control of the lapel and I have the ankle pick. So here I will control the distance here. So when I'm ready, I'll bring him inside and I drop him. When I'm, when I'm dropping, I let the lapel go. I don't stay with my arm here exposed, okay? This will become an arm bar very fast, yeah. So I don't want, I don't want to keep this arm here. So as soon as here I take Angelo down, I, I, I'm back to, to my, my posture here, okay? So I can pass from here with different ways. The way that we did today was controlling his legs from the inside and I keep my elbow closed here, okay? I don't, I don't open my elbow here when I'm, when I'm passing. I have tight control here. So I bring to the inside and to the outside. So inside and I bring here. When I bring here, I will fall with my shoulder to his chest or a little bit down to the chest here, to the external. So I bring to the inside and I'll fall. Okay, I'll, I'll do it slow. <laughs> so when I fall, you see the position of my legs? All my weight is on his external and I still have control of his legs here. There's a bunch of weight there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to put like my knee down to the floor here. If I, if when I fall, if when I'm passing, I fall with this knee to the floor, there is not, there is nothing there, right? So when I fall here, and right now all my leg is outside of the floor, just, the, just the my toes are touching the floor. So all my weight is up here, and I still have control of his legs. So now he will, on a tournament, this guy here will be jumping all the way here, okay? So I need to control these legs. So when I feel that he's tired, then I bring my arm to the inside and I go, I go to the side control here, right? So side control, I want my knee controlling his hips. My other knee controlling here, uh, uh, under his shoulder. So I have both knees here, controlling that side of the body. I have my arm under his head, on his shoulder, the other arm on the shoulder. So cupping the shoulder here, okay? So it depends on your preference. Like some, some people like to have a grip and control. Some other people like to have just the shoulder control with both hands and use your shoulder to put a lot of pressure on his head, okay? So it doesn't matter if you have a grip or if you have just the shoulder cup here, but you want to have this pressure on his head here. It's totally different, right? Yeah. This and this. Okay, so from here, Angelo will frame, create space, and recover close guard here. Okay, so he recovered the close guard. I, I recover my posture. And today what we saw was going to, uh, to the open first open guard and then transitioning to the lasso, right? And then he went to the lasso. So from lasso guard, uh, we did also the sweep if the person is not standing, but stay down. So he put the leg on my belt line, the free hand, he keep the, la the lasso all the time, keep the strong grip here, keep the pressure on his leg. And then he has the grip on the same leg that he is sweeping. So he will load me. I can try to control here. I 
I have nothing to posture there. So he will just kick and complete the sweep to, to the side control here, okay? Important to keep that leg so he doesn't have a back piece slice. And then now here, he has fully control with uh, side, side control. Um, and then the last thing that we saw was first, uh, when he is going for the lasso, he's going for the lasso. I know that he's going for the lasso. I don't let him finish the lasso. I don't let him bring that grip all the way inside. I immediately start moving my grip to the outside, cupping his legs here. So that will break the grip. So that's one thing. The second thing, when I let, I was too lazy. Angelo has fully control. He has a very strong grip here. So I, I will have a hard time now to break this grip. The, the, the way that I like, bring, come here. The, the way that I like to do that I think it's, uh, it's more efficient is I start going up here. I let him has this reverse deliver here. And when I fall, I will fall bringing this to the inside like if it was a half guard, okay? So I'll, I'll fall to that side, putting my back on his face. Can you see from there? So I'll fall, bring, keeping, I need, I need to have this half guard or reverse de la riva that will become a half guard. I need to have that, okay? To, to be able to break this grip. So when I fall, I bring this to the inside. And now I have, he, he cannot see what I'm doing. He cannot see what I'm doing. This movement bring my arm a little bit to the outside. So now I'm able to rotate my wrist and break this grip. And he cannot move because he has this half guard. So from there, I can, if I have, if, if it's easy, I can just step out and then move to the side control. Or if he has a better, let's say, half guard here, I can just escape like if it, I'm escaping from half guard, right? So, come here. And I escape like escaping from a half guard, right? Yep. This is Ooh. it.